happening now is that Keir Starmer has started to bother to tell us what he thinks about stuff, because at some point before the election, he's going to have to put a manifesto out there, isn't he? Which now means that we can either agree or disagree with it. So the party wants to lower the voting age to 16, but most people are against that idea. You have to be 18 to vote in most elections in the UK, but of course 16-year-olds can vote in elections to the Scottish Parliament and the Welsh Senate. I was asking you, GBviews at GBviews.com, what do you think about all of this? Adrian's been on. Patrick, no, it's far too young. They have no experience of real life. They constantly make immature decisions. I'd raise it to 25. Uh, I don't think Labour really believe, says Graham, the 16-year-olds are old enough and sensible enough to vote, other than they are more likely to vote Labour. Uh, there's a few of these coming in now. John, one more, says at 16, it's far too young on voting on big issues. Uh, Labour think they would just get all their votes. Labour and Keir Starmer wants to close the EU, sorry, wants to be close to the EU because he and Labour's front bench are Remainers, right. Uh, joining us now is the former editor of Labour List, Peter Edwards. Peter, thank you very, very much. Should 16-year-olds get the vote? Uh, yeah, I think it's a good idea. It, it's democratic. And I, I heard the comments from some of your viewers. But what I'd say is, first of all, 16-year-olds go to work and pay taxes. Remember that old phrase, no taxation without representation. Secondly, 16-year-olds can join the army as well and be exposed to harm in the national interest. So why shouldn't they have a say in how the country's run? Frontline roles in the army. I do take your point, though, but they're not cannon fodder on the front line at 16, are they? They're kind of in training. And I just wonder how many 16-year-olds really do pay a lot of tax and have a lot of jobs. I mean, most of them are in education. I know that some of them aren't, but most of them are in school or college picking their spots, aren't they? Well, yeah, but I mean, where, where I come from, Essex, there's, there's, you know, I went to university, but there's a great tradition of people leaving school at 16 in the South East. They often went to work in the city and in financial services. And also, it shouldn't necessarily be about the percentages. If there's any anyone in their teens going to work and paying tax, why would we deny them the vote? Where, where's the moral case for denying someone a say when so many government decisions like uh, university fees, for example, relate to the lives of young people? Should they be allowed to drink alcohol then? No, I mean, in the reasons that, in the interest of kind of health, I would keep the drinking age at 18. But I think we all know most people have a bit of a drink before they're 18 and Correct me if I'm wrong, I think you can legally drink at 16 with a meal. So it's obviously, it's happening, um, mm. whether in restaurants or family environment, or for more... Um, but I mean, I just think if, you, if, if, you're, if you're allowed People to vote, <laughs> yeah, if you're allowed to vote, I mean, should you not be allowed to do everything else? I mean, we say that you can't be trusted to drive on your own on a road at 16. We say that you can't be trusted to make the right decisions about smoking or, or about alcohol and a variety of other different things as well, nightclubs and all of that stuff. So, so, but we would let you have a vote on whether or not uh, pensioners should keep the triple lock or whether or not, you know, the NHS should be privatised and stuff. It, it does seem a little bit odd. Well, I, I don't think that's a fair analogy. For example, driving is a test based on competence and you can't, you can't get to the starting line, literally, of that until you're 17. But that's not a kind of universal right or a universal responsibility. Something that's universal or the other ones he said, like, we can all apply to join the army at 16, although you might not get to the front line. You can all get a job at 16 and pay tax. And you generally, other with a few exceptions, don't start drinking. Driving is very different. But then to go back to the big point, you know, in the last 20 years, one of the big debates, debates at general election time is about tuition fees and the cost of university. That, that's, that's absolutely integral for young people. So mm. why would we deny them? The, the cynic in, yeah, yeah uh, the, the cynic in me would say that when people are aged about 16, they are either still in full-time education or have just come out of it. There is, I think, quite a rampant left-wing bias just amongst the youth, but also amongst the education system generally as well. And that if this came into force, Labour and other left-wing parties, whatever may come down the road in the future, would be basically guaranteeing millions more votes for them. Uh, is that not why they're doing this, really? I don't think so. Actually, I thought that might come up. So I had a look at turnout um, for T. Oh, we'll yeah, never know. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Go on, Peter. <laughs> Sorry, we lost you for a second there. Go on, carry on, mate. So you looked at turnout. Is that right? 
Yeah, the turnout for people aged 18 to 24 is, is about the lowest. So only about 50% of people in that group bother to turn out to vote, which is a source of great sadness. But the idea that hordes of uh, left-wing teenagers are going to drive an enormous pivot in government policy making, you know, is just not borne out by the stats. Lie on them being They're too the lazy. The most you... dependent we can't rely. Once you give them the vote, maybe maybe we should give them a vote on whether or not they should have the vote, and we should see how many people turn up to vote in that. I mean, that would be that would be interesting. Look, Peter, thank you very much. Was all, what was that? What was that? We'll never know. Not right. another referendum. Not but another no, not another referendum. Right, fair enough. Peter Edwards then, full relative of Labour list. Definitely not another referendum. Right, OK. Great. Right, um, yeah, where are you on this then? But look, part of me does think, genuinely, yeah, if you, are, if you are working and you are paying tax, probably already at that particular stage in your life, far too much of it, then you should have the right to a vote. But what does that mean in practice? I, at the age of 16 my vote would have been pointless. It just would have been pointless. What would I have been voting for? What would I have really been voting on? You know, I, I don't really think that 16-year-olds should be given the vote. And then it opens up a whole host of other questions. I mean, I think Shamima Begum was nearly 16 when she went off to go and uh, join ISIS, didn't she? So should she be held criminally responsible for that? How could she be uh, just a child that was capable of being uh, sculpted and groomed, but at the same time then you're saying now that all 16-year-olds should have the vote.